drink the banana, the banana, everyone, and I totally messed that up. But oh well. Okay, so I haven't made a let's play in a while, actually. So I'm gonna just tell you what happened up front. And my belly's empty. Okay. So um, you probably last saw me. Um, doing one of those training things in the Makuhita Dojo. We'll see. I was making an episode after that. And what ended up happening. Um, how do I position myself again? There we go. And when, what ended up happening. Was that, um, I, my computer didn't have enough memory. To actually... I can't talk. To have the recording of the video. Or keep it, I mean. So I lost a lot of footage and stuff. But basically, we're in the Great Canyon on the 11th floor. And we have much more to go. And I really should check my moves. And I can't use my, uh, uh, link move set. So yeah, I spent a while um, just taking a bunch of let's plays off my computer, deleting them, and uh, uh, keep losing my train of thought. Sorry. Anyway, I made a um, I put most of my Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages let's plays on a bunch of discs. So yeah, and that's about it. So yeah, I don't have much more to say really. And Zenigami grew to level seventeen. Woohoo! And Kerrera grew to level sixteen. Oh, I still have to delete all those videos. Shit. Oops. Ah, I keep doing that. Also, um, all seeds restore health. Uh, not, not health, um, all seeds restore, uh, Five of your belly, which is pretty useful when you're low on when you have like no apples or low on them. That's why I try try to eat all seeds. But real quick, let's check how much time I have left. So yeah, and I have to delete stuff. So I'll be back. Okay, so after deleting all that stuff, hopefully I have enough room to make some more videos. And where the hell are the ancients? Also, let's turn this up real quick. And that's Zatu. Also, you may have noticed the weird greeting at the beginning. Which happened to be, Drink the Banana. Which actually has a bit of a funny story behind it. Basically, someone said that no one else... Wait. So I'm supposed to tickle him or attack him because he's not moving. Let's attack him. Okay. Oh, we're actually going to attack him. Knock him off the cliff. Or not. So this is actually important. Mm. 
He knows you're human. And he stares at the sun all day, not blinking, which has to be bad for your eyes. Of course, since he's a Pokemon, he can stare right at the sun. I have no, and have no problems have to his eyes. I gotta pay attention to the story now. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, something on the world's gonna be destroyed or something soon. And Gengar's right behind there listening in. Though it's a wonder they made it through that all 13 floors or whatever. Oh yeah, I say failed real quick. Uh, 10, or let's say 10. The next morning. Morning, girl. Keep you on our best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bothers me. You know, I didn't really pay attention because I was busy talking about stuff. The world's balanced. No, I don't. So what do we do for now? Yeah, I'm kind of shook. I was I was the only legend. Could it be true? I'm having a hard time believing it. Nine Tails legend. to go visit Wishcash now. Wait, is it Wishcash or Wishcash? I actually forget. Mostly because I was too lazy to read most of that. Or oh, Wishcash. I always call it, call him Wishcash. You said I was wrong. Yes. Oh, well, fine then. Let me recount the tale. There once lived a Pokemon by the name of Ninetales. Now, Ninetales had many tails, all of them imbued with psychic power. It was said that anyone so foolish as to, to touch a tail would be cursed for a thousand years. But there was someone not so foolish as to grab a tail. And it was a human. Of course it was human. It's a human, because humans are stupid, right? That's what I might expect. The human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a thousand year curse. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the human and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would that Pokemon Gardevoir take the human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exists there exists strong bonds between humans and Pokemon. <sighs> the good ones and bad ones, correct. I can pick in Gardevoir. Until I asked him in this. Do you wish to save Gardevoir? It asked. The human had already been in Gardevoir and fled. Until it became disillusioned with the human and made this prediction. A human will one day be reborn as a Pokemon. What? A human turned into a, po into a Pokemon? Oh, shit. And when the human becomes a Pokemon, the world's balance will be upset. And that's how the legend ends. So wait, are there also humans roaming about this land or what? So yeah, we may be the I may be the bad guy or something. And I had something to talk about, but I'll do it in the next episode since I uh, don't have much time left. So yeah, bye everyone. Game.
guess that works. Dum, 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 dum. Don't wake up the Tauros, whatever you do. Thank you, have a nice day. Well, I guess I have to, because, like... No, wait, I have a great idea. What the hell? Die. Excuse me for a second here. Actually, never mind. I thought I was going to sneeze for a second. To use your moves, this will not end well at all. Wait, never, never mind. He uses moves. Show me your moves. Oh damn.